Episode 7. This audio series is the property of Lucity Films Production. Unauthorized upload of this content onto any YouTube channel is prohibited. This audio series is rated 18. Parental guidance is advised. Am I speaking with Kobe? And who is asking? Just answer me. Am I speaking with Kobe? Oh, <laughs> I prefer not to answer. Okay, okay. If this isn't Michael Kobe Agri who stays at not Kaneshi, near the spot complex, house number 50 block 424 stroke 91, I'm sending the police right away. Please wait. How did you know my full name and location? <laughs> who is begging now? Please, who are you? Yes, yes, I am Kobe. I know everything that happened between you, my friend Becky, and Honorable. If you still want to be free, come to my house right away. Let's talk. Call me back once you think over it. And don't waste my time. Kobe was confused as ever. He didn't know what to do. He couldn't believe anyone else knew about what transpired that night. This is impossible. I was the only person alive between the three that were in that room that faithful night. Too much pressure on me now. Yeah. No, I have to call her back now. Yeah. Hey, I didn't even ask your name. Because you were being stubborn. Just call me Abna. Abna, I want to meet you. Yes, brilliant. I thought as much. I will text you my address. I have it. I'll be there soon. An hour later, Kobe was seated in his house. Abna was almost the same age as her friend Becky, but looked way more mature than Becky because she was darker and plump. Abna was putting on a transparent nightwear which showed her boobs and ass, leaving Kobe wondering where exactly her mission was.